one. Hi, my name is Kenza Sherwat, and today I'm going to be doing a speech about a very relevant topic today, racism. This is by Prince E.A. and it outlines how people are judged before you get to know them because of how they look. I've been picked on for my dark skin, my dark hair, my dark eyes, and I've seen it in the school corridors almost every day. It is still a problem. I am not black. I mean, that's what the world calls me, but it's not me. I didn't come out of my mother's womb saying, hey everybody, I'm black. No, I was taught to be black. And you were taught to call me that. Along with whatever you call yourself. It's just a label. You see, from birth, the world force feeds us these labels. And eventually, we all swallow them. We digest them, accept the labels, never, ever doubting them. But there's one problem. Labels are not you, and labels are not me. Labels are just labels. And who we truly are is not skin deep. If I was driving my car, no one would ever confuse the car for me. Yet when I drive my body, why do people confuse me for my body? It's my body, not me. Get it? Let me break it down. See, our bodies are just cars that we operate and drive around. And the dealership that we call society decided to label mine the black edition. Yours the Irish or the white edition. And with no money down, 0% APR, and no test drive, we were forced to own these cars for the rest of our lives. Forgive me, but I fail to see the logic or pride in defining myself or in judging another by the cars that we drive. Because who we really are is found inside. Listen, I'm not here to tell you how science has concluded that genetically we're all mixed or that race in the human species doesn't exist or how every historian knows that the official term race was invented in the 15th century to divide people from each other and it has worked perfectly. No, I'm not here to lecture. I just want to ask one question. Who would you be if the world never gave you a label? Never gave you a box to check. Would you be white, black, Mexican, Asian, Middle Eastern, Indian? No. We would be one. And we would be together. No longer living in the era of calling human beings black people or white people. These labels that will forever blind us from seeing a person for who they are, but instead seeing them through their judgmental, prejudicial, artificial filters of who we think they are. And when you let an artificial label define yourself. Well then, my friend, you've chosen smallness over greatness and minimized yourself. You've confined and divided yourself from others. And it is an undeniable fact that where there is division, there will be conflict, and conflict starts wars. Therefore, every war has started over labels. It's always us versus them. So the answer to war, racism, sexism, and every other ism is so simple that every politician has missed it. It's the labels. We must rip them off. Isn't it funny how, how no baby is born racist, yet every baby cries when they hear the cries of another, no matter their gender, culture, or color, proving that deep down we were meant to connect and care for each other. That is our mission. And that is not my opinion. That is the truth. In a world that has sold us fiction, please listen. Labels only distort our vision, which is why half of those watching this will dismiss it or feel resistance and conflicted. But just remember, so did the caterpillar before it broke through its shell and became the magnificent butterfly. Well, these labels are our shells and we must do the same thing so we can finally spread our wings. Human beings are not meant to be slapped with the labels like groceries in supermarkets. DNA cannot be regulated by the FDA. We were meant to be free and only until we remove them all and stop living and thinking so small can we be free to see ourselves and each other for who we truly are.